Hello, Mr T here. In this session, the piece I would like to talk about is Hanging with Monty by Tom Daverin from the book Shining Brass, Volume 1. I've chosen this piece as it is set for Grade 2, List B. If you choose to play this piece for your grade, here are some ideas on how you could improve your marks. Firstly, let me play the melody. <laughs> Yes, I agree with you. Not very interesting, not very musical, and I think if I was Monty, I wouldn't want me hanging out with me either. So how can I make it more interesting and more musical? The points I will cover are tempo, dynamics, articulation, and musicianship. Firstly, tempo. Two things to notice about tempo. Firstly, the speed at the beginning, and then look through the piece to see if this speed changes. At the beginning, you can see it says dotted crotchet equals 72. And what this means is the speed should be fast enough to play 72 dotted crotchets a minute. And the best way to understand this is by using a metronome. If you don't have one, play it at a moderate speed like this. <laughs> And so on. Secondly, look through the piece to see if the tempo, the speed, changes. You will see that it doesn't, so keep up that tempo, that gentle speed, all the way through to the end. Now let's add dynamics to tempo. At the beginning, it says MF, mezzo forte, medium loud. Now have a look through the piece to see if you can spot any other dynamic changes. You will see that there are quite a few. Bar 6 has a crescendo getting louder to forte in bar 7. Bar 11 is P, piano, soft. Bar 13 has a crescendo to MP, mezzo piano, medium soft in bar 14. Bar 15 is MF again. Bar 18 is F, forte, loud. Bar 20, back to MF. Bars 25 and 26 have a crescendo to forte in bar 27. Bar 30 is MP, mezzo piano, medium soft again. Bars 32 and 33 have a crescendo to MF in bar 34. Bar 36 is piano, soft. And lastly, bar 37 to the end is forte, loud. I'll play from bar 11 to 19 to give you an idea of what to play. <laughs> So you can see how the volume builds up there. Now for articulation, the tonguing and slurring. There is not a lot of variation in this piece, but you will notice that above and below the notes there are words instead of signs. So care is needed to look carefully and read them and understand what they mean. I'll come on to these in the last section. Lastly, now that we have tempo, dynamics and articulation, the technical bits, 
it's time to think about musicianship. And what this means is thinking about what story is the music wanting you to tell who you're playing. The clues are in the title and the words bombastic, which you can see at the beginning. Firstly, the title. Do you know who Monty is? Can you see where it is written? Also, notice that it says hanging rather than hanging with the final G. Why do you think that is? Monty is the dog, probably the composer's pet dog, and I think the use of hanging without the final G means that they are just playing as really good friends rather than being on your best behaviour with someone that you don't know. The word bombastic at the beginning means to play it in a wild way, almost without a care. So start by playing the notes not too short, but still in a playful way. And then you will see that in bar 11 and 30, it says excited. Here I think you can play the notes a little shorter to make them a little more exciting. Bar 20 says floating. So I think it would be a good idea to play the notes a little longer, perhaps a little smoother, not cutting them too short. And lastly, as you play through the piece, try to have in your mind that you're out having a really playful time with your best friend, your dog, Monty. Now the four points, tempo, dynamics, articulation and musicianship have been covered. I will end by playing through the piece, thinking about all of these ideas, and you will be able to compare it with the first playthrough and see the difference. Ba 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 